Supply and demand. Often with supply and demand, what you're really doing is being creative and using contrarian thinking. So this is why a lot of successful growth hackers are non-conformist. These are people who are seeking out opportunities to do things largely because nobody else is doing it and you're going to be able to stand out and get momentum. So some examples of this is to pay people to talk to your sales team. A lot of people are going out there doing marketing, trying to get people to schedule a demo, to schedule a free consultation, but there are actually very few people out there that are gutsy enough to just say, here is a hundred dollars or a $300 electronics item. Please talk to our salespeople, sit through our demo. Another example is people that are using direct mail. Direct mail is not in fashion right now, generally speaking. What most people like to do is they like to use email. They like to do messaging through social media. But if you try something like direct mail, especially if it's very personalized and handwritten, you're going to stand out because these are low supply channels. Another thing that you can do with supply and demand is look for mismatches between supply and demand. So for example, right now there's an undersupply of audiobooks. So Audible is a marketplace that is undersupplied right now. There's not enough content in contrast to other markets like the Kindle store, which is uh, perhaps a little more mature and, and saturated. Other cases is just audio content in general. We're seeing this surge in demand for it with products such as Clubhouse, with podcasts. So if you're able to get into that market earlier and ride that wave, you're going to be able to growth hack your product. Another example is just to follow Jen's trends in general and see surges in demand. And there are certain tools like Google Trends that can allow you to do that. And we'll, we'll go into more specific examples later in the course. And another example of exploiting supply and demand is to look where there is cheap labor. So for example, what you could do is you could hire armies of people in the Philippines that speak English to see the user base for your platform or your product. 